sorry, Carpenter. I'd like to throw this trip your way, but I've got direct orders from the Admiral. Send McHale. But, sir, I don't get it. Our boat has had an excellent record, and McHale... Why, you won't even let him and that, that gang of wild men moor on the base. The Admiral wants to reward him for tracking down that chap sub. But, Captain, we both know very well that McHale would never have spotted that sub if he hadn't been out on a moonlight cruise with those nurses. No, no, no. It seems the Admiral only judges by results. Hi, Captain. Lieutenant Commander McHale reporting, sir. Hi, copy. Nice of you to show up, McHale. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm late, sir. But I thought I'd grab a shave first. Uh, I've been on duty all night, sir. I know. I hear it was quite a poker game. Oh, it was a son of a gun, sir. Cop, you should have been there. I had three aces of my hell. You know why I sent for you? Uh, well, frankly, no, sir. I'm sending you to New Caledonia with the monthly reports. New Caledonia? Oh, thanks, Captain. Ha! Wine, women, and hot showers. My boys can sure use a little of each. Don't thank me, Mikhail. If I had my way, you'd be out in Tokyo Bay polishing mine. Oh, it was Admiral Reynolds' idea. Oh. Just what do you have on the Admiral, anyway? Well, I guess he just recognizes talent. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I'll be running along, Captain. Copy. I'll squeeze a redhead just for you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Captain. Cheer up, Carpenter. They can always run into a typhoon. <laughs> Okay, Virgil. Now you're gonna get it. Okay, Coxon, thank you. <laughs> hey, you guys, have I got some great news for you. Hey, where's the boat? Getting refueled? Uh, well, sir, not exactly. You yeah. tell us your news and we'll tell you ours. Well, tourists, <laughs> as fast as you can get your fancy skivvies packed, we're going on a little vacation cruise to New Caledonia. <laughs> I don't get it. I thought you guys would be going out of your heads. I'm afraid we're not going to New Caledonia, sir. What are you talking about? Because of him. Go on, lover boy. Tell him. Tell him why we're not going any place. Yeah, tell me. I lost the boat. <laughs> I lost the boat. <laughs> All right, you guys. Come on. What's the game? <laughs> He's telling the truth, sir. He lost the boat. Look, I'm not talking about our little tiny rubber boat, huh? I'm talking about our, our great big PT boat. The one with the big 7-3 on it. I lost it. Well, how could you lose a boat? When? Where? You're gambling. They're shooting craps or something. Well, it was unavoidable. You know how a person loses something? I put it someplace, and then when I went back to get it, I, I just couldn't find it. This eight happens to be 70 feet long and weighs 30 tons. Go on, Hot Lips. Better tell them the whole story. Well, last night I was feeling kind of restless, you know? So I borrowed the boat, and I took a little ride over to the native village. And I, uh... I talked the chief's daughter into going out for a little spin. Now, that's strictly against regulations. And fighting civilian personnel aboard ship without the proper... Uh, look, everything we do is against regulations, so let's not hold that against them. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. After a while, I parked the boat, and I went in the jungle for a little walk. Well, Skipper, you know how the jungle is in the middle of the night. Yeah. How is the jungle in the middle of the night? <laughs> well, it's... Dark. And pretty soon I couldn't find my way back. When we finally found the path back to a village, we, we, we took it. And that's, uh, that's how I lost the boat. And then that's how it happened? Yeah. Oh. I always felt it just wasn't too easy to lose a PT boat. Oh, no, Skipper, it's 
Skipper, it wasn't easy at all. Why, the mosquitoes and that... Ah, look, you run down that yell. I'm going to yell it to you loud and clear. You're going to go back to that village. You're going to roust them all out. Third degree, that doll, anything. But you don't come back here without that boat. Tinker, you go with them. And make it fast. Now get going. Boy, this camouflage was a great idea, Skipper. Yeah, if any of the brass comes nosing around, they won't know we're pedestrians. Hey, Skipper, what are those guys going to get back? I don't know. But if Binghamton gets wind of this, he'll hang us by our thumbs from the highest radar mast. Love it. Oh, no! Leave it to Binghamton to smell trouble at 6,000 yards. I don't like short thumbs anyway. Fuji, get lost. Quick, quick, cover up, cover up, cover up. That's all the old man has to find out is we got our own private PW. Act nonchalant like nothing. Nothing's wrong, that's it. Go and stand by the netting, then. That's it. Let's hope he doesn't go poking around. Ah, ch -ch chatter it up, chatter it up. <laughs> Boy, New Caledonia, here we come. Should be a blast, eh, hey, Mr. Parker? Uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, a uh, real blast. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Captain. <laughs> uh, hi, Mikhail, you still here? Yes, sir, just making some last-minute preparations, sir. Well, I don't understand this. I was uh, out on an inspection tour. I thought you'd be halfway to New Caledonia. Oh. <laughs> hey, you know, that's quite a job of camouflage you've got there. Uh, well, yes, sir. That's right, sir. <laughs> yeah, if there's one thing we pride ourselves in, sir, it's, it's uh, our camouflage. Yes, sir. 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 You know, Mikhail, I really must say, this is the most amazing job of camouflage that I've ever seen in all my years in the service. Oh? Well, so you can hardly tell it, is it? <laughs> Mikhail, your boat, it isn't there? <laughs> no. I mean, it isn't. Of course it isn't, sir. I, uh, two of my men have it up for repairs, sir. Yes, sir. It has. <laughs> Oh. Well, then you're in trouble. Oh? You know there's a regulation against taking a boat out without a commissioned officer aboard? Oh, 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 I beg your pardon, sir, but I believe the Commander McHale was acting within his proper authority. Oh, yes. You see, in the case of an emergency... Shut up. <laughs> now, since you bring it up, mister, what is this emergency that you refer to? Oh, well, the, uh, the emergency. Uh, you remember... You don't, uh... <laughs> Well, sir, you see, there there were a couple of spark plugs missing. Spark plugs. Uh, spark plugs, that's right, sir. <laughs> spark plugs. Uh, spark plugs. Uh, Do you consider that to be an emergency? Uh, well, uh, uh, well, now, sir, there there were other things missing. Uh, uh, that's right, the the wheels. Oh, <laughs> now out with it, Mikhail, and this time you'd better make it good. Uh, well, well, uh, <laughs> well, the truth of the matter is, sir, that, uh, well, we decided we don't feel like going to New Caledonia, sir. Uh, uh, yes, a uh, carpenter and a 116 need the rest more than we do, sir. Uh, we're, we're happy, sir. We're, we're all happy. happy. Sir. Not accepted, Mikhail. Negative. No, I want the truth. I want the whole absolute Sunday school truth, and I'm not going to leave here until I get it. Now, what happened to your boat? We lost it. <laughs> For a minute there, I... <laughs> I thought you said you lost your boat. <laughs> you said it, didn't you? I see. How did it happen, Mikhail? Was it an air raid? Maybe it was a Japanese convoy, hmm? 
Oh, now, I'll bet it was a German submarine. Uh, no, sir. No, sir, not in combat. Uh, we just lost it. We, we put it someplace and we couldn't find it. <laughs> well, you just managed to get yourself kicked out of the Navy, Mikhail. Oh. Get through. <laughs> through! And your men are through. Oh, I'm going to break this crew of yours so far apart that they'll never be heard from again. And you, Mikhail. You are going to be back on that broken down old tub of yours trading coconuts with the natives. <laughs> Mr. Parker, he's in your custody. And I want to see him in my office in one hour. And you can tell former Lieutenant Commander McHale that he can save himself a lot of time by starting to pack now. Former Lieutenant Commander McHale, you can save yourself a lot of time. Oh, right? shut up. Skipper, don't let Binghamton push you around. When Virgil shows up with the boat, we'll send you a flag. Stall attacking as long as you can. We'll be rooting for you. So long, Skipper. Go so long, Skipper. Bye. Bye. Oh, the Navy sure is chicken. Making such a fuss about one lousy PT boat. It's an awful shame. We got plenty of PT boats out there. Yeah, but none of them are ours. Hey, fellas, what's the difference between any of those other PTs and ours? Now, ours carries beer cans and number two torpedo tube. I think I keep his comic books in armor case. Willie, if we had a boat, could you paint the number 73 on it? Oh, sure. I know the whole alphabet. I mean, I mean, if this boat already had a different number on it. But you sort of, uh... Brilliant, group! Brilliant! Hey, do you think it'll work? Oh, uh, it's got to. I'd never last on submarine duty. I like to sleep with the windows open. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, you're an expert on regulations. Just exactly what can Binghamton do to me? Well, I don't know, sir. They've never written a regulation for misplacing a boat. <laughs> But there are other statutes that apply. Huh? Sure. There's negligence and conduct on becoming an officer. And dereliction of okay, duty. Okay, okay. In other words, the old goat has enough on me to get me kicked out of the Navy. <clears throat> Not necessarily. No, sir. I'm sure he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't? No, sir. There's a matter of restitution. Restitution? Yes, sir. You see, since the boat was lost outside of the line of duty, but still under your command, you're obliged to pay for it. Oh, no! Get Lieutenant Carpenter over here right away. Yes, sir. Parker, I want you in my office. I'm going to need some statements from you on those forms. Yes, sir. Oh, Mikhail, I've got some forms that you never even heard of. I'm really going to make this one stick. Oh? <laughs> Gruber says to tell you that PT Boat 73 is ready and that we can leave for New Caledonia at a moment's notice. Whenever you're ready, sir. Holy... Hey, you found the boat? Chris Eckert kissed you. Where was it? What happened? Uh, Gruber says to tell you that the boat was never really lost, sir. It was over at maintenance. And, uh, well, sir, we just forgot to tell you. Uh, maintenance? But Virgil said that, uh... <laughs> you mean there's a boat out there now? A PT boat that belongs to us? PT-73? That's right, sir. PT Boat 73 is ready to stand inspection. Anyone's inspection. <laughs> well, Christy, tell the men I'm proud of them. And tell them to stand by while I straighten out a few things in the office. With Captain Bly. <laughs> Come in. Uh, Captain? Oh, it's you, Mikhail. I thought it was Carpenter. You wait outside until I'm through with these forms. I want to be sure that I close every loophole. Uh, loopholes about what, sir? You know darn well about what. Oh, I'm enjoying this, Mikhail. I'm enjoying this more than our last three USO shows combined. Oh? <laughs> uh, Captain, I have some very good news for you. Uh, my bow wasn't really lost. It was just a misunderstanding, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, you can tell all that to the court martial board whenever they do. How do you mean it wasn't really lost? <laughs> well, sir, my man just forgot to tell me. Uh, the machinist mate had it over at maintenance, sir. Are you trying to tell me that you found your boat? Yes, sir. All ship shape and ready to go. Yippee! <laughs> <clears throat> sir? Mikhail, <laughs> well, there's something fishy here. No, sir. Uh, nothing fishy at all. Just human, human error. <laughs> Sorry to put you in all this trouble, sir. Do uh, you want me to tear up these forms, sir? Definitely not! <laughs> I want those forms filed away. I'll get to use them yet. <laughs> well, then, sir, if everything's under control, we'll be on our way to New Caledonia. Oh, no, you won't. You think I've taken leave of my senses? Carpenter and the 116 are going to New Caledonia. Oh, Captain! You're lucky you and your mob of hooligans aren't going to the brig. Lieutenant Carpenter out there yet? Yes, sir, he's here. Lieutenant in New Caledonia, indeed. Why, you're not even in the same league with Carpenter. In my book, he's real Navy. Lieutenant Carpenter reporting his orders, sir. Huh? <laughs> Carpenter, I've got good news for you. There's been a change in plans. McHale is not going to New Caledonia with the monthly reports. You are. Me, sir? Yes, you. What's the matter with you? Don't you want to go to New Caledonia? Yes, very much, sir, but... I'm afraid we won't be able to. You won't be able to? Why the devil not? We lost our boat. <laughs> you lost your boat? Yes, sir, a little while ago. I, I can't understand how it could have happened, sir. Why don't you ask Mikhail? He lost his boat, too. Well, we found ours, sir. <laughs> when? Just a little while ago. Why am I running here? Get out of my way. <laughs> Is this a Navy, or is this a lost and found department? I could just scream. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Well, you already have the forms made out, sir. Why don't you just, uh... <laughs> uh we're really moving along, mister. <laughs> Can't you see the captain's busy? Uh, if you want us, sir, we'll be down by our boat, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> Pick up those forms. <laughs> Dirty up that bridge a little more. I was never looked that clean. Well, how are we coming? Ah, oh, great. It looks just like the old 73. Willie, how's the paint? Uh, that's dry. That a boy. Uh-oh. Here come some officers. Keep alert, men. Look sloppy. But the skipper. I didn't recognize him in a Sunday go to meeting dance. Hey, you guys, why'd you grab Carpenter's boat? Beggars can't be choosers. You never saw a tub that was so GI. Well, uh, at least it bought us a little time. Dry, huh? Yeah, blew on with an acetylene torch. Oh, good. Because I have a sneaky hunch that Bingham told me by any second to check us out. Oh, holy cow, Skipper. Look! <laughs> no, now we got two of them. <laughs> Again. Loser, what are you talking about? You chowder heads, can't you see? We got twins. Boys, we have to find us. We're dead. Get this crummy boat out of here. It's our boat, the 73. From now on, it's a 116 stack painting and get it out of here. Yeah, well, what do you want us to do with it, Skipper? I don't care. Just go dump it somewhere, anywhere. Just dump it before Binghamton spots it. Get out of here. Go on, go. Come on. Begging your pardon, sir. But have you given any thought to the coincidence involved here? Coincidence? Yes, sir. We seem to have lost our boat at almost the exact moment Mikhail was finding his. You're not inferring that he... I have given us some thoughts, sir, and I would like to check it out before I make a direct accusation. But I wouldn't be a bit surprised if the boat Mikhail has now is my boat. You know, Carpenter, I must be slowing down. 
Now that you mention it, I wouldn't be a bit surprised either. <laughs> Boat stealing. That ought to be enough to put Mikhail away for the duration. Open that door. <laughs> You don't think this is your boat, Carpenter? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Certainly not. This couldn't belong to anybody but McKay. Yes, not in there, yes. <laughs> well, hello, Captain. <laughs> Lieutenant. Oh, what a real pleasure. Welcome aboard, sir. <laughs> All right, Carpenter. McHale, get this. This garbage scow off of my base. Get back to your island. Garbage. <laughs> well, it, it, it is a little untidy, isn't it, Captain? <laughs> Oh, all right, man. Take down the stuff and wash clothes, and uh, you better get out of the way. <clears throat> all right, you heard it, Skip. Let's move it. Uh, permission to leave, sir? Uh, messing uh, thank you very much, sir. Captain, look. I think that's my boat. <laughs> I say, you're right. That does look like the 116, doesn't it? It is my boat. We've got it back. <laughs> Our Admiral at Naval Reserve used to tell us every day's like this. <laughs> Sir, we found the boat. That's wonderful. Where was it, Burns? At the fuel tanks. We received a phone call saying, come pick it up. And when we got over there, there was. I can't understand, though. Good work, mister. The important thing is, we got it back. Now, Carpenter, are you sure that this is your boat? No doubt about it, sir. I trust you can see the difference. Then you're ready to leave for New Caledonia. I run a proper boat, Captain. I'm sure you know that. My machine guns are always loaded. My torpedoes are always primed. What is this, Carpenter? Some new sort of depth charge? It's like a beer can to me, sir. Can in the torpedo tube? Shocking. Shocking, sir. Why, well, it wouldn't surprise me if they had comic books in the ammo cases. They do have comic books in the ammo cases. Hey, Mighty Mouse. What the devil have you got in there? Pretzels? <laughs> Pretzels? But, Captain, I... Carpenter, I... you just stand there at attention. At attention! Shut your mouth. Don't open it until I tell you to speak. I swear. Never in my entire career have I had so much trouble trying to send a crew on a vacation in New Caledonia. Kale, <laughs> are you still ready to go? Yes, sir! Well, then go. Go, go, go. Get your crew and get out of my sight for seven days before something else comes up to make me change my mind. Aye, 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 sir! <laughs> Open it. <laughs> Don't say another word. <laughs> what do you think the cat will do us when we get back, Skipper? Yeah, beats me. But in the meanwhile, we're gonna have seven glorious beautiful days and nights in New Caledonia. Wow! <laughs> Rupert, break out the beer, buddy. Right. Hey, Skip, we forgot. This is Carpenter's boat. The torpedo tube's got nothing but torpedoes in them. Oh, no! What's the matter with you, goofball? Do I have to do all the thinking myself? Have you ever heard of anything like this before? I've sailed these islands for over 20 years, and I've always 